This is CNN Breaking News with your host, Jerry and Ellen. Good evening and welcome to DNN News Network. I'm Jerry and you're not. And this is my co-anchor, Ellen. Good evening. Breaking news in the desert. <laughs> A 90-year-old woman just gave birth to her first child. It's about time. <laughs> no kidding, right? <laughs> so let's go to Jeff and Randolph who are in the field now. Yes, I'm Jeff. And I'm Randolph. And we're reporting here live at the birth of Israel. Oh, yes we are. Yes, God promised Abraham a son that would birth the nation, even though Abraham screwed up and had another son named Ishmael with Sarah's concubine. So join us. <laughs> All right, this is Randall, oh. and I'm out here in the field with Abraham's wife. Now, God promised Abraham a child, oh. even though they're both like almost 100 Lord, years old. Lord, show me mercy. All right, let's go to the birth. Oh. I can see the head is crowding. It's crowding, it's coming. You're almost there. Like if I were to have one. You just witnessed the birth of Israel. What a touching story. Did you hear what happened after that baby grew up? No, what happened? Well, according to Genesis, Isaac begot Jacob, who begot Joseph. And Joseph became the right hand man to the Pharaoh in Egypt. That's right. Joseph's family all moved to Egypt and continued to multiply. Until a few years later, the new Pharaoh became scared and made them all slaves. It's a tragic story. It really is. But let's go to Egypt now to see Jeff and Randolph in the field talking to Moses, their new leader. Jeff, how are you today? After being in captivity for many years, the Israelites were finally released from captivity by God. God released them! And now they finally had a chance to take over this land that God promised them many, many years ago. <laughs> Which you are witnessing right now. <laughs> freedom! Let freedom ring! Happiness. Joy. And now for the weather report with Tara Moraine. I'm Tara Moraine and welcome to the weather report. Sunny skies and hot weather in the desert with the giant cloud in front of everyone. Forecast of manna from heaven tonight. 100% chance of tears tomorrow when everyone finds out they're stuck here for the next 40 years. This just in. Somebody got killed by a wild pig. Some say he was bored to death. Funny. <laughs> now, moving on to the stock report with Sarah Stocks. Hello, I'm Sarah Stocks, and this is the stock report. Investments and ideas are up, but protection from God has gone down. I predict raising foreign countries will raise 40% over the next 100 years. On the bright side, McDonald's is up 20%. So keep a close eye on your kids and get ready for the hostile takeover. What do dwarves use to cut their pizzas? I don't know, what? Little Caesars! <laughs> Ellen, that was hilarious. It was, wasn't it? Now to care cares. With politics. <laughs> this is Care Cares About Politics. Big events happening and ancient prophecies are being fulfilled. May 14th, 1948, Israel became its own nation and Jews returned home. U.S. President Harry Truman and Joseph <laughs> Stalin of Russia recognized this new reformed state with the help of Britain and the U.N. Israel is maintaining and gaining land back to Jerry and Ellen. <laughs> this just in. A thousand fish were found dead downstream. Could this be an act of cod? Ha <laughs> ha! Punny! Now for the final segment with Scott Easton in sports. This is Scott Easton in sports. Conflicts have been erupting as the Arab Israeli war is in full swing, known as the Three Days War. Palestinians and the Israels have been at each other's throats. This struggle has been happening ever since Ishmael and Isaac. Palestine shoots missiles into Israeli border towns, trying to gain more land. Well, that's that for tonight's news. Thank you for watching DNN News Network. I'm Jerry. And I'm Ellen. And on behalf of myself and my co-anchor, have a great night.
Yep. The children from your house. Oh, I was retarded. <laughs> okay, one, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So, yeah. uh, good evening. I'm Jerry, and you're not. And this is my co host, Ellen. Welcome to DNN News Wednesday. <laughs> I'm Jerry, and welcome to CNN <laughs> News Network. <laughs> it is. I'm Jerry, and this is my co-ho anchor. Oh my! 